Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a wiki up. I take two fingers at the bottom and I put a dot. And from that dot, I draw a slightly wavy line all the way from left to right. I come back into the center, and I put three fingers, and I put another dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down on the left, come back to the dot, curve line down on the right. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a curve line slightly over and connect. Come back to the left, draw a slightly curved line down on the left, and draw a slightly curved line down on the right. We're going to come all the way down over here on the left hand side on the bottom and I'm going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, connect. Now I go back to the left and I draw a curve line in, connect on the left, and a curve line in, connect on the right. I come back to the left and I draw another curve line down, connect on the left, and another curve line down, connect on the right. I come all the way back up to my beginning dot and I'm going to draw slightly curved lines on the insides of each one of these sections. Now this is mainly just to show you how to break up the space. When we color, we're going to add some texture to kind of make this look a little bit more realistic. So keep going and stop. Now what you can do if you want is come back in and just do some up down, up downs. I'm just doing up down, up down. They don't have to be even, they don't have to be straight. You're just adding a little bit of texture inside your spaces. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to add is a little bit of black slightly curved lines on this section of my wiki up. Now the wiki ups are very good examples of the Native Americans using sustainable um, sustainable ob um, blah, 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 building materials for their wiki ups. These are all made out of tule rushes which grew by the rivers and the banks. And I'm using a, a a peach and I'm just going over because we're going to triple color this I'm just putting some color down on my wiki up lightly next color is tan and on this one I'm going to go a little bit outside of the lines on the outside because the reeds that they use the tule rushes were um, not solid, they were woven like mat, mats. I'm going to come in and put a little bit of color on the inside of my doorway. And then the last color I'm going to use is brown. I'm going to add the lines first and go outside. Kind of want it to look a little rough. And then take a look, and if you think it still looks a little too light, lightly go over the whole wiki up with your brown crayon. Now these were excellent examples of being able to build something solid for the environment, and once it was used, then they could just move on. So they didn't have to pack it up or take it with them. Okay, now to add a little bit more depth to this, I take my crayon and I'm going to do this bottom section a light peach or brown. 
I'm going to go over that with another darker brown just to give it a little bit of depth. Just overall. And in the back, I'm going to take my blue green and I'm going to draw. First, I'm going to draw some lines all the way across. And then with the same color blue, I'm going to color over the lines. This is totally just because I want to give the background a little bit more of a textured look than just sky and a sun. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my wiki up all colored in. A really remarkable uh, piece of architecture by the Native Americans. Okay, bye bye.